Welcome to Table Knots. My name is Max. I'm Doolin. And today we just played our first ever game of Mind Management by Jay Cormier and Sin Fung Lim and developed or published by Off The Page Games art by Matt Kent. Now, the reason we're telling you we just finished our first game is because this game has something very interesting. It is. Called the Shift System. The loser of the previous game essentially gets a little bonus, mm -hmm. a little different rule or item or a something. A present. A present, essentially that uh, allows them to have a slight advantage in the next game. I lost the first game. Mm -hmm. So before we set up the game, we're gonna open up this shift box and just make sure that we know exactly what we're doing and get right into it. So let's find out what we've got. Let's We've got an, another uh, tracking token. Oh, sweet. A setup for a capture. What is that? DB? Look, Whoa. we're all finding this out at the same time. What if this is like a fake a one? A fake one? That you get and you're like, oh Ooh. yeah, I've totally been there. Like but a, when I flip it over. Body double? Oh, DB. Dobby bubble? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, there's like a freaking comic in here. Yeah, dude, there's comics everywhere. Okay. Replace the standard capture action with this capture. So I have to guess a feature that you're going after as well. To yeah, capture. not just where I'm at. I hate that. Yeah, I like that. Move to the closest location in an orthogonal or diagonal straight line that shares any of the features in your current location. You may pass through locations you visited and mayhem. So basically, oh I can gosh. go from here to... You can go backwards? There, because it's in a straight line and it has the same features. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I mean, I that. could go... <laughs> I feel and like there's no chance that you don't pick That him. I don't pick the magician? Yeah. There's <laughs> so, zero. I'm already playing mind games here with you, man. That's what we've got in our first box. Is that it? So I don't get a thing? No, it's the loser gets a thing. So we're going to take a moment to set up the game board now, uh, and then we'll kind of walk you through the first few turns, and we'll get this party started. Yeah. See you in a minute. So we're going to walk through the setup of the game just so you can see exactly what we're doing. Yes. If this doesn't interest you at all, there will be timestamps. Skip forward when we actually start playing the game. Yeah. Super interesting game. We'll start by having the mayhem tokens placed. So Ooh. you place yours first. Yes. Yeah, so what this means is basically if I place this here, neither of us can go from this box to this mm -hmm. box. Unless things say, say so. Unless I mean, I'm you're sure, using your mind slip or yeah. things like that. Right. I'm sure at some point there will be like a character who can do right, it. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. And you also can't box them in, so it yes. can't be touching another one. Yeah. So and I'm gonna he... start. Oh, okay, I realize that by you're doing that first. Going here. Okay, I'm gonna do what I did last time. You suck. And I'm gonna go right there. You're just blocking off everything. Yeah, I do. I do like uh, when when there's less room for you to. Are go you kidding things. me? Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right beside you every time. Why not? Why would I not? Because it's annoying. I I want you to have less. I'm gonna go down means here. Means of escaping. I mean, I, I get it. Like you did I don't last, like you did that last I time. I get it. This actually looks almost exactly. It does like look similar. Board. It does look similar. Okay, right. what's next? Uh, up next is we place a time token, which we already did. Already did. Time uh, tokens right here. This is gonna track the turns that we take, um, and we'll explain as we go on what the different symbols down here mean. Yeah, and then I place these, which show you everything that I can do mm -hmm. on my turn. I can move, which I always move, and then I can do one of these actions, which is ask. Reveal, shake down, capture, and allies, Potential which I allies, never right. actually use. I have a Black Ops Dolphin. What? When when taking an ask action, I may discard this to force the recruiter to place step tokens on all locations. Wow. With the request. I love that dolphin. I can write anything on these and just make a mental note of something I want on the board. Yeah. If or, he thinks I was here on step three, he mm -hmm. can write that down. And then once it'll be confirmed at yes, some point in time. Through reveal action. He'll flip it over and place a green and then let me know when he was on right. that location. To confirm or deny his accusations, yes. essentially. Okay, we're going on to your first action, which is... Oh, I place where I want to start. Yeah, you also get a mind slip token, which... Uh, Got it I, right here? I don't know what his mind slip does. It's going to be one of three yet. things at this point in the game. It's going to be I can either jump uh, orthogonally two spaces diagonally two spaces, or the one we just unlocked in our first shift box is that I can jump orthogonally or diagonally to a space in a straight line with the same matching symbol. So example, from this totem to this totem. It's gonna be one of those three things. I know which one I've picked. Obviously, he does not know which one I've picked, mm -hmm. but he knows the potential ones that I can do. Yeah. And when I do that, I will place this token down on whatever time I took that action. That. Which actually was extremely helpful to me. It because, was. Yeah, it helped me know potentially yeah. uh, how I could win the it's game. It's huge, it's huge. Um, it gets you out of danger, but you're also telling them like, you took a yes. special action. Do I need to place my starting number one? You do need to place your starting number one, which he's gonna do on his little marker board off 
uh, out of my sight, but in your sight. So you'll know where he is and you'll know how wrong or how right I am during the game. Um, the first game, I was extremely wrong quite a few times. And then the second game, I was extremely wrong quite a few times, except for one time. Now we will say, we said this was our second game. This is our third game technically, yeah, but we, we played the, played the tutorial game. training mission, that's yeah. all. All right, you did that and I then- I placed my number one and then I need to shuffle these together and draw three, correct? You do. So these are our feature cards. You don't cards. even need me. I barely do. <laughs> these are our feature cards. And basically I get to choose three of these and I'll show you the camera up top, which three I have received. And that is how I get my recruits essentially. So this is like a deck now. Um, and these three right here are the three that I have. So by visiting locations with these three symbols on them, I can recruit at that location. Um, and I'm basically gonna go circle them on my map right now, just so I know what's what. Mm -hmm. There are five of each for a grand total of 15 possible recruits from this alone. I think one of them is the coffee. You do already? Mm -hmm. Why is that? I don't know. I was about to say. I was just trying to see if I got any facial reaction from you, oh. and I didn't. You did. You passed. Good job. I passed the test. I was playing mind games with you. Well, you. Failed. I was trying to manage your mind. You were trying, <laughs> but you failed. You did not succeed. I will say it's difficult to do this in this orientation we mm -hmm. are right now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to circle things while like leaning over. Mm -hmm. It'd be good to face opposite each other, but we don't really have that luxury right now. He actually gets to take five actions already. Five movements. Uh, to get ahead and to get some, some, I, what are they called? Recruits. Recruits. Uh, and then I finally get to, get, actually, no, you get to do six in a row before yeah. I get to do my first. So I'm going to go crazy. ahead and make my first five moves. Now you reveal to me how many recruits, recruits I've got, got already. And that's going to be a grand total of two recruits so far. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. So my first five moves, I was able to successfully get two recruits. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Don't like that. You get immortals. Yep. To place. Now, immortals are people who block me from being able to do most of my actions. Which if they're on the same like, space. Yeah. yeah. Um, and immortals also, we'll go ahead and set that up right now. Yeah. Immortals can recruit for me. And yeah. what that means is I'm going to flip over two right here. And it also gives uh, Josh some information as well. So he knows that I, the recruiter, am not trying to get recruits at either the garden or the suggestive graffiti. So what that means is, if these are anywhere on the board, uh, both on a matching symbol, different space, but matching symbol, I can recruit. That'll give me one recruit, that'll get discarded and reveal another card showing mm. Doolin that, he's. it's giving Doolin more information. It's giving me recruits, but giving him more info that I don't have these in my pool of cards. Right here, and I can't place on the edge. Right here, right here and right here. That's why I'm placing my four immortals. So I have four of those. They're they're rogue agents. Rogue agents, that's yeah, correct. And they all have four awesome special abilities that you will get to see. The thematics of. here aren't very strong, mm -hmm. but essentially I am a recruiter for mind management attempting to recruit agents. You are four different rogue agents who have left the company mind management and are attempting to track me down and stop me from continuing to recruit new agents. Yeah, and just so you guys know, while you're watching from above, the my agents will have a clear base, mm -hmm. his have a black base. Uh, and then whenever we're done, I'm done using them, I will put them face down because I have to use all four of them before I can use any of the other ones again. Correct. Um, I'm gonna put him there. We're gonna go there. Okay. There's a reason. I believe it. So all four of our things are down. I've taken my first five actions. Are we ready to begin? I believe we are ready to begin, man. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move right. once and then I get to move one of my rogue or one of my immortals as well. Yep. And then he's gonna act with two of his rogue agents. Mm -hmm. Then I get to go again. Mm -hmm. He acts with two of his rogue agents. Mm -hmm. All his rogue agents stand up. I go again, repeat mm -hmm. the process until we get to the 16th round, in which case I win if I haven't been found or until I get 12 recruits. I have two yes. right now. I need to get 10 more recruits throughout the, the rest of the game before I'm found, essentially. Mm -hmm. And he wins if he captures me, yes. which fortunately is a little more difficult for him this game than it was last game. Yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my sixth action. I'm going right there. I'm gonna move this up to number six. Okay, are you gonna move an immortal? I am gonna move an immortal. I'm looking for the garden or the Symbol, I've already got those two on the symbol. Oh no, that's your guy. 
He doesn't block me, does he? No. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and go here, actually. No, I'll go there. I'll block him from doing any of his actions over there. And then because they are in a matching symbol on separate spaces, yeah. this is gonna go ahead and get discarded and a new one comes into play. And then I go ahead and give a- uh, You put it on the on the, on the suggestive itself. graffiti on that symbol. The next one here is books. So you okay. know that I'm not going for the gardener books. Gardener and that's my turn. Books. Okay. That actually helps me a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I wonder if I should be taking those recruiter, the immortal recruits that early, but that's what I've done so far. So I'm gonna see. move there. Okay. And I'm gonna ask about the dream bus. You're gonna ask about the dream bus. Have I been to the dream bus? I have not been to the dream bus. Zero dream buses. Okay, I'm just gonna make a middle note of that because I normally would place these everywhere and show that I've not been there from zero to six. Um, like for instance, but with no other information, it's yeah, kind it's, of, it's not very helpful. Like I would do that and place it on a dream bus spot, right? Like right there. So I know you weren't there, but it's very unhelpful. This early in the game, right? I'm going to ask. Okay. So he's done. And just so you know, he's blocking these two currently. Mm, okay. Good to know. Um, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to go one, two. Okay. <laughs> Her in there. Okay. And then I'm gonna ask, because it's a free action by Bill Falls, I can push mm -hmm. the immortal. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask about the umbrellas. Have I been in any umbrellas? I haven't. You have not? I'm not. You are kidding me. Not been any umbrellas. That's never happened to Has it? No umbrellas, no dream buses. That's almost always you've been in something. No umbrellas, no dream buses, baby. What it do, baby? Yeah, you already know. What? What? Trying to make sure. Yeah, no umbrellas or dream buses. Where have you been? Not around any umbrellas or dream buses. Jeez. So there's a good chance you're not anywhere down here because there's there's two beside each other. There's two beside each other here. Jeez, that is not helpful at all. <laughs> I like that. That's great. That's a horrible first turn for me. All right, your turn. So that's your first turn. Dang. Um, No umbrellas or dream buses in the first six turns. No umbrellas or dream buses. Okay. 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 And then I want to move an immortal. There's no, okay. Where are my mortals? Oh, you pushed her, that's right. That's right, you pushed her. And I need gardens or books and they're being blocked. They're not, I can't get anything here. I am gonna go to this garden. With oh, wait. oh wait, oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait. You already have a lot of info? Oh wait. Oh God, don't do this to me. Oh wait, I know that you got two there. Yeah. I know that neither of those two are ones you're going after. That's not necessarily true. That is. Why would it be true? Dang it. You're that's right. not, that's not you're accurate. Right. I just it's haven't not. been there yet. I've only taken one turn. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you could have gotten two, but that, I, I, I don't mean, know. you go with whatever logic you want to go with. I know my now, logic is infallible. I until move this it is. up to seven and reveal how many I've been in the turns six yes. and seven. I've been to two more in the turns there's six no, and seven. Okay, there's no way that the Dream Bus or Umbrella are, two, are ones you're going for. That's fine. There's no way. You retain that info, buddy. <laughs> and I wanna ask about the monks. The monks, have I been to anywhere with the monks? I have. Okay, you know what? I need it early. I'm gonna go ahead and use Dolphin, man. And what does that do exactly? You reveal to me every single place you've been that has the monks. Okay. That might've been dumb. I think that wasn't very smart this early in the game, uh, but that's fine. That's it? That's it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> is it? I don't think that was the most uh, brilliant move right out the gate, but you do you, buddy. Where, when were you there? When were you there? Well, you don't ask me that yet. When were you there? I haven't asked me yet. I'm not gonna tell you. When were you there? I'm not telling you. I wanna know. I was there I on turn know. 15. Can you show me? I want to know about these strangers like me. All right. Give me more. I'm going to use his free ability Can to move. Can you show me? <laughs> Somebody. One space. It's going to be himself. I, I called it, y'all. Yeah. I called it. He's going to go back that way. Okay. Um, That might have been stupid. Oh, we'll find me. out. Uh, and then with her, 
I'm going to, before I move, ask about the... No, I'm not. I'm going to go one, two, ask about swimming pools. You asking about swimming pools. I have been to a swimming pool. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, oh, Max. Oh, yes. Can't but feel like I'm doing hmm. badly. Yeah, I, ugh, I am, I am unsure what to do right now. I'll be straight with you. Ooh, dang it. I kind of wish I would have taken a different trajectory. I just saw something that I liked and I'm upset about the way that I've, that I've started. Hmm, sorry. It's okay. I, if it makes you feel any better, I feel bad about the way I've started. It's okay. Too. So now I get to do an action with these guys. I'm going to pop her over to the gardens and I'm going to recruit at the gardens with my mortals. So that goes okay. away. A recruiter comes out here to the gardens and you see the bus. The dream bus. The dream bus. So I was right about one of those. You were right about one of those. those. Mm -hmm. I, I guarantee you I'm right about both. That's fine. You can guarantee it all you want. It doesn't matter. It's false. I'm pretty, pretty confident. Did you know that these tokens are two faces? The negative space is also a face. Oh, wow. Interesting. <laughs> that was on the graffiti, right? One, two, three, four. Why, you already have six? I already have six. You have half of the ones you I need? I have half the ones I need. Oh my gosh. And you know nothing yet. Not really yet, <laughs> no. I would like to go here. Okay. And I'm gonna ask about this one. You're, you're investigating, finding out, re-revealing. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna go one, two, and find out about this one. Okay, you're revealing that. I'm gonna reveal it. The monks, uh, number four. Number four. Okay, so you're four spaces away from there. That is helpful. This is how I begin to start learning. <laughs> and in case we haven't made it clear what this track does, the white spaces don't really mean anything. The red spaces are when I reveal how many recruits I've got during those turns. So if I recruit on eight, I don't reveal it until turn nine. The white lines are just kind of an example showing that, hey, the rogue agents need to flip over everyone. They're all ready because mm. on turn 10, he's gonna use two. They're not available for turn 11. On turn 11, he's gonna use two. They're all flipped down. And then on turn 12, they all flip back up. Yeah, That's what those symbols kind of mean. I'm going to ask about the sign. The sign. I saw the sign. And it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. I have been to zero signs. Are you kidding me? What, Max? <laughs> Where are you going? That's the whole point. Where You're not supposed are you to know. Going? Why are you running? Why are you running? Um, and I'm gonna go one, two. Okay. And I'm gonna have it's so confusing, man. <laughs> you don't have a lot of info yet. Not yet at all. I mean it's only three turns in, but he's gonna get flipped down and mm -hmm. I'm gonna move her one space there. Okay. And she flips down too, right? No. no. Uh, he got to move her. Oh, free, free space. Action. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. And then this goes to nine. Who else did you use? Because they're all still flipped up. Oh, sorry. Him. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. You're then right. I my ninth action. I didn't. I shouldn't. I should have used my dolphin more wisely. Yeah, the dolphin wasn't the smartest uh, move in the book, I don't think. So on turn nine, I reveal how many I found during turn eight and turn nine. Actually, first I should take a uh, immortal action. I'm looking for bus and books right now. Buses and books. One space away from a bus. She's a space away from nothing. Just ignore me. Okay, I will. That's pretty per usual for me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go into her space is what my turn's gonna be. Then I reveal how many agents I found, how many recruits I got during turn Why eight. Why are you going nine. to my space, man? And I'm going to show that I found two recruits in turn eight and turn nine for a grand total of eight recruits so far. Oh my gosh, Max. Yeah, but it comes crashing down hard. As soon as you get like a scent, it comes crashing down. You find a scent and you latch onto it and it is so hard. Okay, okay. Speaking of scents. Oh God. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go here mm -hmm. and I'm going to shake down 
Okay. I have a guess. Okay. I think that you're going for the thought courier. Choose any feature. If the recruiter has a matching feature card, they must reveal oh, it and discard it face Oh, right. Am I right? F, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am Dang. not going after the thought courier. Dang it. Dang it. Dang Does it. the rule book tell you to track it that way or are you just doing it? No, I'm just doing it. I like it. No, it's smart. And it's smart. I, I, it, has, it doesn't tell you to do that at all. It's just helping me. I like it. It's smart. It's smart. Don't patronize me. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> You right. won last round. And then uh, I've already moved him, he's so done. he's done. And then I'm going to go one to ask about tiki's. Ask about tiki's? Or whatever they're called. They're called they are confusion the idols. Confusion idols. You have to have gone there. I don't believe that. I believe that is a lie. Okay. You're number nine. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Either you're there. Hold on. Five, five, six, seven, eight. That could be eight. Oh, it's too juicy not to go after. <laughs> it's too juicy not to go after. Oh, okay. So you're that done. Is, that, is, that is the Dobby bubble. <laughs> or, or you're like right here. Oh, we messed up. What? I never pushed this down. So I'm I'm a jerk, and I never placed <laughs> uh, this down. Which that's the second mind slip token yes. that he places anywhere he wants on the map during setup. We've messed this up a little, yeah. but if I go into the space with the mind slip token. I make a note of it. I mm -hmm. don't tell him about it, mm -hmm. but then I have two uses or an extra use mm -hmm. of my mind slip ability. I'm going to I'm going to be nice. Okay. I'm going to ask you where I ain't telling you where I want two... you to put it. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm going to be nice. No, that okay, is not fine. nice. He goes there. You're saying Tell me where you're close to. Do you want it no, in the north quadrant true. of the map or the south quadrant of the map? Give me an idea of <laughs> when you're gonna be able to, to be use nice. it. I was gonna, I was gonna give, you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna give you the choice between two locations. Okay, well, you're garbage and I hate it's you. It's like when you cut a sandwich in half and your mom and dad's like, all right, you cut it, but she picked. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need four more. I just realized this is supposed to be an X. You never went there. Hey buddy, I'm mind slipping. No, I knew where you were. That's had, that had to have been it. That had to have been it. That had to have been it. There's no chance I didn't. I've caught you. Wait, why is that? Oh, that's where you placed it. I was like, why is that there? <laughs> I caught you. You caught me? I caught you. I had to have caught you. Oh, like last turn? Yeah. <laughs> I had to have. There's no way. All right, it's my turn. Uh, I still get to do something you're, with you're, my immortals. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. So I'm at Garden Garden, uh, Bus... What is she on? Nothing. I need buses or books, and ain't nobody on buses Where'd you or books. Slip? Where'd you slip, man? Buses or books. Why would I tell you? Um, we're just gonna go here, be on that book. That's what I'm doing. And nah, F that. I'm blocking you again. I don't know. Wait. Hmm. Let me find out about this. Yeah, you make this way more interesting than you than it needs to be. Uh, cause you're two spaces away. Can you only move orthogonally? Yes. Okay. Unless I'm on the torches. I'm gonna go the right temples. there, cause that's a bus and a book. <laughs> May as well be there. I mean, I can't use it yet cause you're next to me, but... Uh, is it my turn? It is your turn. Okay. That is my 10th action. I'm going to go... Max. Yeah, buddy. Oh, Max. What's up? Oh, Max. We're okay. going to have to title this, How Not to Play as the Rogue Agents. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hate you. All right. Uh, I'm going to use Dusty's free ability to get him three spaces. Okay. And then I'm going to reveal. I would like to reveal what that is. Is it the DB? Yeah. It is the Dobby Bubble. It was It was too juicy. It to is the after. Dobby Bubble. The dude, Straction Box is what it was called, dude, I believe. if you were there, though... <laughs> All right, so that's. I gone. mean, to be fair, I just slipped, so. I know, I know. I don't know why you slipped. If I was, okay. <laughs> I 
Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm just shut up. I'm not talking. This is gonna make for great content. <laughs> I'm not talking at all. Uh, I would like to use her again. Okay. No, no, no. I'm gonna go one, two. Okay. And be in between yep, them. Sure, sure. And I'm gonna ask about the fountain. The fountain. Need to know that up there. All right. Well, I guess that's my turns. Okay. I'm not doing nearly as good, guys, as I did the first round. I apologize. I'm not showing this game off well enough, Max. I'm doing poorly. <sighs> okay. So I reveal how many I found during yep. turns yep. turn ten and eleven. I found another two. Oh my God. Away? Another two agents during turn You're ten and eleven. Four away, Max. Four away, buddy. All right, all right, all right. Time to time to go harder, faster, better, stronger. better, stronger, <laughs> harder, faster, better, stronger. One, two. Yeah. I would like to ask about coffee. Ask about coffee. Let's take it. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right, I'll go there. I'll reveal. Six. You're at 11 right now? Mm-hmm. Crap. <laughs> so away, man. I, it's what I gotta do, Straight though. Straight go. No. Hey. Uh-uh. All right. <laughs> Just so you guys know, what this reveals to me... Is that that was number five. This was five. That reveals to me that this was three. And you started... Uh, okay. It's not... It has to be, because this was, this was not there. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, that's fair. It has to be. And then this was most likely two. And but technically could be here. one or two. Not really, because... Wait, no, yeah, it couldn't be. Yeah, that's two. And then yep. somewhere over You're here right. is one. My guess is that you didn't start on the outside edge. Considering right. the rules say I'm not allowed? You I mean, it says <laughs> that you can. Oh, that's true. That you, if you want to be tricky. Oh, that's good. Well, now I just gave you my hand a little oh, bit. Yeah. Welcome, well, Draco. Thank you, Max. Uh, You're welcome, buddy. I mind managed you. <laughs> that's your one. Okay. I mind managed you. <laughs> Draco. All right. So, okay, 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 okay. Uh, now I got to play this game a little bit better, guys. Um, you got two mm -hmm. in one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Draco, can and it's you none not of these please? down here? All right. Draco, no. Don't. Fortunately, there's not a ton of components, but like. Oh, hello. Camera's <laughs> getting tons of Draco time right now. <laughs> Jeez. Interesting. Interesting. Now, now Remy's coming over here, all right. and everybody is. So all of these get flipped back up for me. Oh, is it my turn to write 12? Yeah. Draco, stop. Draco, I really dude, think you're destroying stop. me. Stop. I can't get off. Mwah. I love you. Uh, okay, I get, I'm moving 12, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I only need two more. Wait, what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god! How close am I to getting a book or a bus? Not, not, not very, not very close. Okay, I've moved my twelve. I am going to go here. Okay. Get on a get on a bus, and then it's your turn. I know it. I know it. It's gonna happen. Mm, Max, yeah, stop. buddy. I don't like you right now. I'm gonna go here. Okay. I'm gonna shake down. Okay. I think you're going for the... Well, now I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I think you're going for the hallucinogenic torches. Hallucinogenic torches. Jeez. Oh, you mean, you mean these? Yeah. So I got one of them. Oops, that's in 12. I so now I go and erase all the uncir or the circled 
torches that I haven't reached yet. No, you haven't reached because yet. Because I can no longer get them yes. at this point in time. Oops, why am I trying to draw? Okay. Well, that was nice. I don't know if it's gonna help me long term though. This just goes away. These dogs are being wild tonight. I've been like half petting Remy the entire time just to make sure he calmed down. Like my whole left arm's been disappeared for half the video. Just petting Jeez, this dog. Man. I really, I really used the dolphin wrong. Granger, calm down. Yeah, that was a weird choice to use it so early. It could have been huge though. It I'm, could have been big if I'd already gotten two of the same type in the first five moves. Yeah. It could have been big. I'm gonna ask about the eyeball. About the eyeball? Mm -hmm. Where I visited with the eyeball? Mm -hmm. uh, nowhere other than the two that are already interesting. Checked. Oh, man, dude, I'm doing horribly. <laughs> so I've already, he knows that I've already been there at two and five. So I can't, there's no reason for me to explain yeah. anymore. Technically you can put one there. Oh, you didn't know that because technically? I didn't oh, well, I mean, he that. basically knew it. Yeah. It was, well, he did know it. I hadn't confirmed it, and I'll confirm it now, but he knew it just based off deduction. So, those were the only two uh, suggestive graffitis I've been to so far. Well, now, you did know that my immortals have already recruited there, so it's not a place that I'm really trying to get to. It's yeah. not to say I couldn't have walked through, yeah, through it. Yeah, I was hoping that maybe you passed through one of these One of those, two. right. Oh, jeez, man. One, two. Is that it for him? Wait, I got, what was the one that I knew, know for sure? It's it's these, so I'm just gonna go there. Mm hmm? What was it you knew for sure? That, it's uh, torches. You got oh, the torches? Yes. So, and then I'm gonna move one character one. I'll move him one. Okay. So we moved to 13. Yeah. You got any more? Well, I, I'm still taking my 13th action right mm -hmm. now. Then I'll tell you if I've gotten any more. I'm waiting for that loss. Waiting for the what? That loss. Oh, you already you already feel it? Yeah. Already feel it in your bones? I do. The the closest thing I know is that you where you were at six, not not anywhere in the, yeah. the double numbers. It sucks. And we're already up to thirteen at this point. Yeah, it's rough. <sighs> okay. Um, and I get to take one action with my Yep. Did you folks. get any? Uh, during 12 and 13, I did not get any. Now, I can try and recruit at books or buses. Um, I've got buses there, so I'll go ahead and move here and recruit at the Dream Bus. Dude. Which gives me my second to last recruit. And now I can recruit at the Thought Courier or the books. Dang. And now it's uh you're one move away. You have two turns. Yeah, I'm one move away. Yeah. Shoot. I think I think you have it. Like no matter what. I feel like I do. I feel like this has been a good display. But Dang. I mean, crazier things have happened, I guess. Alright. Shot in the dark moment. Gamble, yeah. I don't know what else you would do other than gamble at this point in time. One, two. Mm-hmm. Using her ability. To see if I'm anywhere. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, or her space. No. Okay. I'm excited for you to see what I did do. Cause I think I did well. Oh my gosh, dude. This was impossibly hard. Let's just, let's just end it and I'll explain it. We'll figure it out. It's gonna be impossible for you to theory craft this out. I genuinely don't think you can. Okay. So. With my 14th move, I'm going to walk it's frustrating. right here and get my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12th recruit. 14 was here. That's where I just was. You want to see my movement? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then on my 10th move, I jump from there to there. 11th, 12th, yeah. 13th, 14th. I was going to say, I know he, there's no way you weren't the magician. No, I was definitely taking the magician. She's new. She's fancy. The, Absolutely. The Dobby bubble really, the Dobby bubble. really See, threw me off. It almost kind of messed me up because I put it there. Then I did my jump there and I was like, oh no. I was like, <laughs> I just kind of like, because the other option was right here. Was I on top of you? No. 
You were right oh, okay. here, okay, I think. Okay, okay. You were very close, but I almost put it here with a true footprint. Mm. But then I was like, man, I'm right here. Mm. But then I jumped and I was like, maybe I should have put it there instead of right <laughs> there. It was very interesting. But yeah, that's my that was my movement. I was going after Dude. tiki's, monks, and uh, uh, confusion idols. So you can see. Tiki's, monks, and. <laughs> right there was the the movement. Yeah, this is a perfect jump from nine to ten. Getting two idols right there, or two recruits yeah. right there. Good game. That was that was great. Well done, sir. It's a good one. Well done. Good game. Yeah. Now we're not. I gonna feel like I did really poorly showing off because in the you, last one there was a, it was a lot more tense. You had a lot more going for you yeah. last game. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You really did. You really did. But hopefully this still gives you at least a pretty good idea mm -hmm. of how this game plays. Um, before we get into final thoughts, if this type of video helps you out and this is kind of the content that you want to see on YouTube, or you just want to thank us for the dedication and work that we've put into this. Ooh, sunglasses on my head this the whole entire time. time. Wow. Go ahead and like that video just so more people can see it and get their eyes on our channel and on this game. This is Mind Management. Again, it's uh, produced, published, I said developed last time, produced this time by Off The Page Games. Uh, it's designed by Jay Cormier and Sin Fung Lim and uh, art by Matt Kent. And this is my management. What do you think after having played the tutorial and the first mission and the second mission? I think I want my my. Uh, you want your dolphin my back? My handicap. Oh. That I get now. <laughs> that you get now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We gonna no, run it back? <laughs> no, I think uh, I think this game is excellent. I I enjoy my time with hidden movement games. Mm -hmm. I've played a few, uh, just to name a few. I really like Scotland Yard. I've played Last Friday, which is actually a like kind of opposite where like the the person who is hidden is searching for the people right. who are public. Like Jason is the hidden one yeah. in Last Friday. So it's right? a little different. I don't know if it's technically Jason. I don't think it's technically an IP. Mm, but it is. Yeah, I mean, it is. <laughs> one, like the, the, uh, the expansion was Freddy Krueger, but it wasn't Freddy Krueger. It was oh, a nightmare yeah. monster. Uh, nightmare anyway. on Oak Street. <laughs> Um, I that was a pretty good joke. <laughs> this game, I think, is a lot more complex than a lot of the ones that I've seen, though. Uh, I think that, in my mind, management, um, <laughs> this game is a it's a hidden movement game for heavier gamers. Okay. Even though it's not that heavy, I'm gonna say it's not heavy. Uh, I definitely think it's it's less approachable than the other ones I've played. I think that, and we talked about this a little bit before. Mm -hmm. I, I like the art. I think the art's polarizing. It's not art that I love. This isn't Kyle Farron, like, mm -hmm. wow, this blows me away. I love this art. But like, it's good. Mm -hmm. I think it's fine. For and sure. I, it doesn't turn me off. And I'm sure it does turn some people off. Before I played the game, I thought the board was really cluttered. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how is this going to work? Mm -hmm. Like, I can't even tell what's happening. I think once you actually understand what's happening, the board is totally readable. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It totally works just fine. Um, but I can see where just entry point, you're talking about it being accessible, how that alone, just the aesthetics of thing and how cluttered and messy it looks, yeah. can all can already be, there's too many things happening. Yeah. There's too many things going on. I will say though, reading the rules, mm -hmm. it it the the whoever wrote it wrote that in mind. And I'm guessing it's probably the guy who writes the comics or whatever. Mm -hmm. Matt because he wrote in it uh like if you first open this up and all you see is a jumbled mess of board game pieces, then this game isn't for you. Right. But if you see something a little bit more under the surface, like the clues slowly coming together, maybe your mind management material. Like, like right. it's kind of like already hokey. setting that yeah, up. It's yeah, it's kind yeah. of campy and so, hokey too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I do think that this game, I, I think the way that the movement works, I think the added uh, replayability with the uh, extra characters that are gonna get added, I guess the more we play, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'm excited makes, to see what else comes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I, a big difference. Like, yes. making your capture harder, mm -hmm. giving me the Dobby Bubble, mm -hmm. and like giving me the Magician mm -hmm. is that's not in your first game. Mm -hmm. That's after losing your first game, and that's he's gonna open box one next. I don't open box two. You open box one next. There's 14 total boxes, seven for each of us. Yeah. Now this isn't a campaign game. Next time we play, we don't have to use the body, the Dobby Bubble. We don't have to use the magician. It's supposed to go back into the box it yeah. came and you decide what you want to add to the core game. Yeah. I really like that and I'm excited to see what else comes next because there's, if, if each box has four or five cards and a new ability, like that really is going to continue to change things up. Yeah. I will say that I'm in, like speaking on replayability, I'm interested to see how well a new person 
could come into the game after you've done a bunch of the scenarios mm -hmm. and added a bunch of these. Like, I don't know but how- But you can always just not. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, you can always just not with a new player. I think that if it's a new player, uh, you don't want to do 1v1. <laughs> like, if you have multiple people, yeah. split that between all of the extras. If not Danielle was new yeah. and came downstairs, I or myself, or myself or you, I or myself, would be the recruiter, yes. and Danielle and I would share the responsibilities mm -hmm. of being the rogue agents. Exactly. Yeah, I think that that's probably the best way to do it, to kind of coax them into the game. Yeah. Um, but in general, I'm really pleased. You have some knowledge from playing hidden movement games. Mm -hmm. This is my first hidden movement game I've ever played. Mm -hmm. Never played Scotland Yard, never played the uh, Sherlock ones. I think there's some Sherlock ones or Whitechapel mystery. Yeah, I've never played uh, last Friday any of those This is my first ever one. I really really like it. I'm curious to see I think so you, you want to play more of them. It does. Awesome. It does. Absolutely yeah, I think we might like try and play Scotland Yard Good. and compare that um, But I'm really curious to see because I think this and maybe the others do too but this one for sure is Not only a hidden movement game and I'm sure the others are this to an extent. I just wonder to what level but also, like, it, it ticks that same box as Awkward Guests and Clue, the deduction, mm -hmm. like where I'm, and especially for you, I haven't even played your role yet. Yeah. And yeah, I think yeah, yeah. your role is the deduction role. Yeah. Mine is kind of trying to think of what you're, you're doing mouse. with you're your rogue agents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to block your rogue agents a little bit mm -hmm. and trying to math it out the map to see, okay, I can go here and by then I'm gonna get this and my rogue agents can, or my immortals can collect this and I'll have 12. But I think that at least playing your role is gonna tick all those same boxes mm -hmm. that Clue and Awkward Guests do. And Awkward Guests is a top 15 game for me. Mm -hmm. um, so this has me really excited to dig back into this and see where it ends up in a favorite game of mine. It is not in my top 20. And I think if I played it what, more, Scotland it, would, Yard? it would be. Mm -hmm. Mainly because one of my all time favorite moments of ever playing a board game was Josh was the mouse. And they even Josh, have like a, Josh that. had the visor. Uh, that hides their face so that while you're talking, you don't give anything away. Mm -hmm. And Warren was with me. And, Warren, if you didn't know. Yeah, and and <laughs> we literally not got, we can get heated, but you know those like, those parts in the TV show of like cop shows where they're like standing in front of like, a, a board and like they they're arguing of things, about them and like we were just going back and forth like, he could be here he could be here no 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 i think he's here he wouldn't do that he wouldn't he wouldn't circle back there like it was just like constant of like and then we ended up being right yeah and like we both went oh like, 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 and, and warren was still frustrated he was like i want to know where you were like, like he was just constantly like right like, it was just a very of like it it, you're right. It, like it has that same thing of clue and awkward guess where you're just like you're trying to deduce everything and you're counting like four or five things that you probably shouldn't have been, but you're assuming them because surely it's not that. Mm -hmm. And that is fun. I think that where this game shines though is where the recruiter comes in because the games that I've played, the person who is silently moving around the thing, most of their game and most of what's fun in these style of games is just being quiet and observing everybody yeah. else. And you move silently. Whereas this, you have a goal. You have a goal of getting the things uh, on the board. You also have to be careful about where you're moving because you can't go back yeah. over anything. You're not allowed to walk it's, over the same space you were already on. That is very interesting to me. Right. And that actually helps me out a lot because obviously I'm not, I know that you're not gonna go back this way. Right, I wouldn't go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah. like double which, back. Which, speaking of Scotland Yard, is a very fond uh, thing that Josh McCoyne likes to do mm -hmm. where every time that he has to be revealed every three or four turns, he makes his way back to the same spot. Right. And then he reveals, I'm right there where I was last time. Right, same and it's like so annoying because yeah. you're like, how did you make it back I can see where there? that would be super fun. Yeah. But I think to your point, what you were talking about is that, yeah, I was worried coming into this that my role would be boring. Mm -hmm. That Exactly. And there, I will, there are definitely, my turns are definitely shorter than yours. Yeah. Because yeah. there's so much more deduction going on mm -hmm. in your head than I have to do. Mm -hmm. But it's not, it's not like I'm like, Oh, nine, okay, 10 next. All right, go ahead. Like mm -hmm. it, during the tutorial, it kind of was like that. Mm -hmm. But then they introduced the immortals and how the immortals can recruit. So it, it definitely upped the level of involvement for yeah. me. I was yeah. afraid that I was gonna be like, okay, 11, what are you doing next? Mm -hmm. Okay, 12, what are you doing next? Mm -hmm. But I definitely feel like this is a totally 
this is a very fun role to play too. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm only playing cat and mouse mm -hmm. and being reactive to your every movement. I'm interested to see what else it gives you yeah. like this. What is this called again? Dotty bubble. <laughs> what is it really called? <laughs> I mean, it's called the Dobby bubble. Distraction box. Yeah, the distraction, distraction box. box. I'm, I'm interested to see what else it gives you. Yeah, make that Make that interesting. No, I, I, I think this is very cool. Uh, this was a game that upon seeing the cover, I was like, mm, I don't know about it. And then we played it and yeah, can confirm. If you like that style of game, I think this deserves to get a chance. Yeah, I'm I'm really happy with it. I think it, it ticks a lot of boxes for me. Um, I'm really excited to see after playing as your role, mm -hmm. seeing how much of that deduction really comes into play. Um, Cause like something like Awkward Guess is great, but you're all playing against the game mm -hmm. me and you have the same objective trying yeah. to solve that mm -hmm. it's interesting trying to be the deductor the, the deduction aspect but competing against directly against someone who is attempting to not be deducted deduced <laughs> however you want to use the grammar there uh, but i do I'm, I'm really fond of this so far uh i'll be interested to see after more plays where it lands but super very happy with it so far so. yeah that's my management by uh off the page games produced discovered published by Off the Page Games and Jay Cormier and Sin Fung Lim and art by uh, Matt Kent. So uh, there you go. If you have any questions about it, let us know down in the comments. And uh, this was uh, this was a good time. I wish uh, I wish you did better. Well, I did last game. Then you got the handicap. Yeah. And you last games don't matter. <laughs>